Guys, what's going on, man? Welcome back to another IG Live. I am your host, Arsenio, as usual, and today is a very special day. So after doing a ton of research, doing a ton of practices, which I didn't even know I could do on IG, I realized that I can actually create these really cool templates and be able to do both the academic writing, the into well, not the both, but the academic writing, the integrated, and everything else. So me... I am super excited about this one because obviously those of you who are watching me on YouTube, okay, and on Facebook, I'm actually doing this on IG and I'm showing a lot of my students, but not the same thing that you're actually looking at, okay? These are the templates that I ultimately upload onto my IG. So before I even begin, hello, Larissa, I'm going to be seeing you very soon, okay? <clears throat> but nonetheless, before I begin... Big shout out to everyone who's following, finally following me on IG. Uh, Mexican dentist. I have uh, the, these dancers from Taiwan. A lot of different people who are beginning to follow me everywhere. And first they were following me on Facebook. But then I finally started advertising to say, guys, follow me on IG. Because this, what you see right here on this screen, is what I post on IG on a consistent basis, as well as different techniques for you to overcome the reading questions, okay? So with that being said, this is a simulcast. If you're watching me on YouTube, watching me on Facebook, be sure to follow me on the Arsenio's ESL podcast on Instagram, okay? That is by far the most important place that you can follow me because you can reach out to me very, very easily. So if you're listening to me in podcast form, Go on over there to Arsenio's ESL podcast on IG and you'll be able to follow me very easily, okay? For all of you who are watching me on Instagram right now, okay, what you need to do is make sure if you have any questions or if you're not able to sit in for this entire live, please ask me for the little view link, which I'm going to be sending via Canva, Okay. It's going to be a little uh, Zoom link that I'm going to be able to send you guys, and then it's going to be very easy for you to access it, et cetera, et cetera. So with that being said, I created a course, an academic writing course, okay? It has different types of questions, whereas you can approach it from a comparison and contrast, cause and result, cause and effect, problem and solution. This is one of those videos that I'm going to be uploading onto the course too, so you get everything in one place right now to buy one, get one. So that course is literally just $25 and you get the integrated course or vice versa for free. So remember to make sure that you actually ask me and follow up if you have any questions in regards to this, because I'm going to go over this very sparingly, but I'm going to also give you the different format and the different way that I approach this. So I did this yesterday. And this is obviously the academic writing. For those of you who do not know on IG, wherever it is, YouTube, Facebook, this is a new academic writing task. And I love it because it's nothing like the scam ass <laughs> independent essay. The independent essay, I had students, okay, who have now gotten into universities out there in America, but I had students who would get 17s writing perfect grammar. And I'm like, dude, what do they want? And when it came to the independent essay, all it really wanted was word count and oh my god what was it word count and linkers <clears throat> so you got to say the also the foot of the board all those different things okay that's how you ended up getting a very high score remember i told you guys before that one of my students in the past okay this is probably right before i had gotten married i think this was april or may he ended up getting going from 21 to a 24 but he had 100 errors per essay that's how bad the independent essay was because we don't know how who was graded. We don't even know if it was AI that was graded, but now at least we know and we got the practicing to mastering the academic writing. So if you look at this right here, I did this yesterday. This is a five out of five, okay? In response, a monster, okay? And I'm very excited about this because this is the first time that I'm actually gonna be getting into it and especially even on IG, all of you are going to be seeing this as I go on and you're going to be able to see all the templates and everything, okay? So with that being said, what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to share a photo right now. So here we go. I'm going to make sure 
Uh, not exactly sure if I could get rid of this chat. See, this is actually the first time that I'm doing this and whatnot. But with that being said, turn off commenting. Okay, if I could turn it off. Oh, okay, there we go. All right, so just got to turn off the commenting. Sorry. All right, so I can actually see the entire thing. But nonetheless, here we go. What I'm going to do is on this IG, here we go. This is the question. So this is what I ended up doing, okay? This is what I ended up doing yesterday. And boom, it was a five out of five. So here we go. This is the question. So if this is your first time, you get a 10-minute task. You're going to have to read what the professor says, as you see here, or on IG, you see right here. And then after that, you have a student number one, student number two. The benefits of this new academic writing is the fact that you are able to actually gain ideas and perception and perspective, whatever you want to call it, so that you can create a nice 100 word entry, which you have the 10 minutes to do, including the reading, right? So it makes it easier. The reason I say that is because earlier this year, I would have these students making up excuses. I don't know what to write. <laughs> That's too difficult. I don't have the ideas. I say, you better go get some goddamn ideas. There's nothing I can do in terms of helping you with your ideas. Well, <laughs> that was with the independent essay. Now with the academic writing, it's a little bit, e it's way easier because you get the ideas from student number one and student number two. Got it? So with that being said, let's look at this right here. What you guys are seeing on the screen right here is basically what I have right here on IG2, okay? So it says, we've been discussing ways that parents can help prepare their teenage children for adulthood. Now, are you gonna read all of this? No, because you only get 10 minutes. So if you're a slow typer, I would say do not read it. <laughs> do not read this whatsoever, all right? But in saying that, one line of thinking is that parents should encourage their teenagers to take up part-time jobs to help them learn to be more responsible, even if it is not an economic necessity for the teenagers to work. Ooh, so the first thing I think about is my life. People, it's always easier to give examples from your life, right? I remember when I ended up getting my first, uh, it was somewhat of a part-time job. It was two weeks, but I was literally working upwards to 14 hours a day, literally just standing there holding a sign. Got a fuckload of money for it. <laughs> okay, and so it was like a McDonald's convention. First week, Australian. Second week, people from New York. They were the worst. Australians were amazing. Okay, let's keep it there. Now, I think about part-time jobs in my life, and I'm like, you know what? What can it do? Because then I go into college and everything, and I'm like, man, I wish I had a part-time job, you know, out there when I was in Arizona. When I was in Las Vegas, I had a one while I was still going to school and stuff. But when I was in Arizona, if I had had that, it would have been great. But we're talking about college we need to be speaking about from a teenage perspective. Like, is this good or what? Even if it's not an economic necessity, meaning regardless if you're rich or not, this builds up responsibility. The question is, what are your thoughts on the issue and should parents urge teenage children to take up a job? That's what we have, okay? So I'm gonna hurry up and turn these comments back on. I do apologize. Yeah, I think, yeah, I don't think I have that many people in today. So nonetheless, so do you guys see what I'm doing? So what's going to happen here is right in this area, okay? Part-time jobs. Should children, should parents allow children should, to take up part-time jobs? Yes. That's the, that's the approach I'm going to do because it's easier for me to talk about responsibility. So if you're a slow typer, what you need to do is hurry up and go down to the bottom, look at the question, because your ideas are ultimately going to come from the students' entries that are going to come right after this. Sometimes both are very good, okay? That's probably like 20% of the time. Other times, one has a ridiculous-ass idea, then the other one has a great idea. Sometimes both of them stink, and then you have to just do your own idea or touch up on what they say and then go from there, okay? So, with that being said, I'm going to scoot ahead. What we have, we have another entry. I'm going to hurry up and get this photo. Choose a different asset. Ooh, I've never even heard of that on IG. Okay, so here we go. We are into another one right here. I'm going to leave on the comments in on IG if anyone has any questions, okay? So what we have here on the presentation, it says teenagers should work part-time. This is what 
Claire or whatever they want to call themselves. OK, this is the first entry of student number one. This student said, OK, well, teenagers should work part time. When I was 16, I washed dishes at a restaurant and I'm glad I did. I learned a lot about time management. Ooh, that's a good idea, time management. That was the first thing that came to mind as well as responsibility. I had to use my free time wisely, blah, 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 blah. After that, I don't really care so much about what she says. I'm kind of just getting the first two sentences. So if this is your first time tuning in, this is what you're going to have to do is get those first couple of sentences, all right? So just so you can get the general idea. Because the main idea, the thesis, the topic, whatever it is, it's always in the first sentence or the first couple of sentences. You got your main idea and then you have your supporting detail. That's exactly what we're looking like here. When I was 16, I washed dishes at a restaurant. I'm glad I did because I learned a lot about time management. Boom. That's her. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the second student. All right. And this is how it always is. So let me grab the second student right there, as you can see. This student end, ends up disagreeing, but his ideas are probably very bad. Let's see, I would have to disagree. A teenager is still just a kid. And in my opinion, a kid needs to focus just on going to school and learning. A job is an unnecessary distraction. I can't build up an idea from that because I disagree, one. And two, really unnecessary distraction. So what, just... Try to memorize as much information as you possibly can, which people have been memorizing over the last 150 years to be sure to get high grades. You see what I mean? Like, I'm like, guys, get the fuck. No, no. This is why I'm more of the, and again, me being an English teacher out here in Thailand and have been for 10 years, I see the juxtaposition uh, comparing both government schools where they're learning just about Thai culture and memorization of shit that their parents and their grandparents and their great grandparents learn versus international schools that encourage creativity and do a lot of things that are hands-on and captivate the mind. Totally different. The problem is one is 2000 USD a year. The other one is 30,000 USD a year. See what I mean? But nonetheless, I'm just going to go with the whole responsibility. So when you guys see this and you're like, oh man, what kind of fucking idea? all right it sounds like a bunch of bullshit you're just going to get you know take yourself out of that and say you know what i cannot generate an idea from that that is pretty bullshitty i'm not gonna do it <laughs> and then you're gonna go on from there okay so when we see this and this person say oh well i would have to disagree because the teenager still needs to do this blah 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 you don't even have to read the rest of it because you already disagree in your mind okay now, with that being said, I'm going to turn off the commenting uh, once more on my IG because this is going to be a very big entry. 137 words. I'm a fast typer, okay? So it was very easy for me to pick this up, okay? I was like, and it was done. I'm going to be going over the different types of sentences and how I approach this. Some of you right now, your first thing is, oh, I don't have vocabulary. I get it. I understand. Other people would say, well, uh, I don't have the grammatical sentences or this or that. That's what my course is for in terms of building up your grammatical sentences and stuff like that, as well as my TOEFL independent essay is actually still available, although you don't need it, but it teaches you a lot about the different sentence varieties. This is actually excellent because you could always say one alternative would be another alternative would be, you see what I mean? So doing these things and so that you could develop these different sentence structures are going to help you significantly, okay? So with that being said, I'm going to be switching to what I had said. And let me just hurry up and choose uh, the last asset. And there it is. Uh, it's a little cut off there at the bottom, but you guys still see it no matter what. Okay, let's break this down. This was my response. This was a five out of five. I didn't think I was going to get that five out of five, but it's all good. So First thing first, on IG, you're able to see it, but here, I forgot to highlight it, but it's all good. What we have is a first sentence, then we have an example, and also as a result and a therefore. Those are the five sentences that I wrote in 137 words. Of course, a lot of them are subordinate clauses and stuff like that, but at the same time, you guys understand that the more sentence, the worse. The more sentences, the worse. Had a stu uh, I have a student right now. Uh, she wrote like nine to 10 different sentences. And I'm like, this is why you got a three. 
you need to shorten it and know exactly what you're going to write down. And that's what ended up being very, very easy for her because she was like, oh, okay, I know exactly what I have to do. Okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. This is going to be very easy, straightforward. She ended up getting a four. That's what we're aiming for, people. We're aiming for a four. So let's break down mine. What do I normally do? Now, on my course, which I already mentioned at the beginning, you're able to do a variety. I'm sorry, a variety, uh, two different samples. You could do, from my personal standpoint, which one of my Mongolian students, Soko, she loves to do that. She's like, in my opinion, she starts it off with, in my opinion. She's comfortable with that. And guess what? She gets consistent fours, 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 fours. She tells me and asks me, hey, you know, how am I going to get a five? I'm like, well, might have to just reduce those grammatical errors. The AI tech is picking it up as you making a lot of grammatical errors. So we're going to have to figure out what we can do to stop those grammatical errors, right? So with that being said, I started off with this. While I do understand both points made, comma, I started off with the subordinate clause. I then go with the, I agree with Claire. I like to do this just so I can include the students because I don't know what AI tech likes, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to say, you know what? I'm just going to say, okay, well, I agree with Claire that dot, 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 dot. I'm going to include the comment from the other individual. This makes my life a hell of a lot easier, okay? This is how I always get fives too. This could be something for you. That having teenagers work while... Being in school, let me stop there. A lot of you would say, Arsenio, you use while and while. Repetition doesn't matter. AI tech doesn't care. It's a subordinate. What AI tech, remember, this is the writing. Now, if you were to even say while and while in your speaking, it's going to be okay. The only thing that it doesn't like in terms of repetition in regards to speaking is the, 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 she, he, the pronouns and the articles. If you say she, 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 and you keep saying that over and over, that's it. Game over. All right. But when you use while, that's all right. I use while two times, still got a five. So going back to it, having teenagers work while being in school teaches them about discipline and responsibility. That's my supporting detail. So what I do is I have the, while I do understand both points made, I agree with Claire that, there goes my relative clause, okay, putting that that in there, that having teenagers do this teaches them about this. It's a supporting detail because then you guys already automatically know, oh, Arsenio, okay. So basically what you're going to talk about is discipline and responsibility. Ding, 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 ding. That's exactly what I'm going to be speaking about. That's it. And then I'm going to put the for example, as you see. So for those of you watching on IG, it says, for example, in order for teenagers to develop, di oh, sorry, I put discipline. I meant to put discipline. <laughs> you know what's funny? I ended up writing that on, uh, what is it, on the software? Still got a five. So yeah, a couple of misspelled words, maybe, because I'm just like, but it's all good. So anyways, in order for teenagers to develop discipline and character before heading off to college, they would have to, oh, see, I put a double preposition, two to a follower in regards. They would have to be a follower in regards to having a list of tasks to do or functions to perform on the job. So what did I do here? Minus the double preposition, okay, which the second preposition was supposed to be B, still got a five, doesn't matter, right? But what I want to focus on here is in order for teenagers to do this, they have to do this, okay? So I'm talking about the discipline and responsibility, right? They need to have a list of tasks to do, and they need to be a follower of someone so that they can learn from them and they can perform those on the job. Done. When I was writing this, I was like, oh, Arsenio, I don't know if that's that good. I mean, that's okay. That's not the best. But I said to myself, yeah, it'll work. Okay. Then I went into the second idea. Because I didn't want to do a problem, solution, compare and contrast, cause and result, cause and effect, whatever it may be. I just said to myself, you know what? Let me just use a double example in this one. I could probably drive the point home in writing the second example. So then I wrote also, remember, linkers are important. This is my third sentence. 
having a boss at a young age while learning the ropes. Oh, while learning the ropes within a small enterprise or franchise. See, I started throwing in some bigger words because my creativity started to come. We'll give them much needed work experience before going to college. So discipline and responsibility. By following a boss and learning different tasks and performing functions on the job, it's going to give them, okay, by learning these ropes at an enterprise or a franchise, will give them work experience before going to college. Because remember, we're talking about teenagers, part-time jobs, 16 years old, right? And now I'm going to talk about the result. So my first sentence in my body was the for example. Then I drove the point home with the also because I felt like I didn't do so well in the for example. This reaffirmed my idea. And then I smashed in the, as a result of this, okay, let's talk about the end result of children being able to do this, okay? So what is it? I'm going to, okay, hey, what's going on, Breno? I was just speaking to you right now. Breno, give me two seconds. I have to turn off the comments so I can continue reading what I have here on this document, okay? And then I'm going to turn it back on. So give me two seconds, all right? Give me two seconds. Okay, let's see. Bam, there it is. Now, as a result of this, you see that? If you're watching on IG, Breno, what's going on? Big, hey, big shout out to you. First time meeting you this morning, literally a couple hours ago. I'm right over here. I'm talking about the academic writing real quick. As a result of this, their employability. Ooh, God damn. Okay, brush off the shoulders. That is sexy. That is a sexy ass noun, okay? Their employability goes up. Why? Now, remember, I already told you about the work experience. I told you about working for an enterprise or a franchise, okay? I told you at the very beginning that having that discipline and responsibility is going to, so all of this helps with the employability. It goes up because their CV becomes more enticing, appealing, appealing to who? For employers or to employees. It becomes more appealing to employers. Does that make sense? So- and, you know, as I was saying this, I was just thinking about one of my friends who I just reconvened after 19 years. He worked, honestly, as a data guy for startups at Goldman Sachs. Yeah, everyone hates Goldman Sachs. And the way they did him, I am not surprised. But nonetheless, he worked there. And could you be, could, come on, people, be honest. Any place in the world, if he has Goldman Sachs, okay, on his resume, boom. Now, I'm not saying you're going to be able to work for Goldman Sachs at the age of 16, but these things were actually coming through my head while I was writing all the different things that I've heard. We're, this is how we generate our ideas and put it all into fruition. And then we top it off with the conclusion at the very end. Therefore, by having teenagers work on a part-time basis, I'm grabbing words from the entry, or during school holidays, summer breaks, winter breaks, what would that do? Would allow them to build skills. What kind of skills? On the job, okay? Uh, look at, you know, building up their employability and stuff like that. And their character in a job market that requires both. Now, I could have reworded that probably a little bit better by saying, would allow them to build skills and be able to you know, get a job very easily or something like that, right? I'm just writing this at the time of writing. This is exactly what my ideas came down to. And so at four minutes, this is how I finished. So let's summarize this. I'm going to hurry up and open up this comment and again. Okay. All right. Commenting is up again. What's going on again, Breno? Okay. Academic writing. Arsenio, you got a five out of five. Arsenio, let's do an internal summary of what I just did. I always started off with the subordinate clause, as you can see, okay? After that, I agree with Claire that having teenagers work while being in school teaches them about discipline and responsibility, supporting detail. The supporting detail is going to be after the I agree with Claire. Got it? While in the first clause, 
I agree with Claire that dot, 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 supporting detail in that sentence. It's going to be about three lines, as you can see. After that, your first sentence is going to, I'm sorry, your first sentence of your body is going to be the example. So this is technically your second sentence. For example, I talked about in order for teenagers to do this, develop discipline, they would have to be this. They would have to do this first. Boom. I felt like I didn't drive the point home. So what I ended up doing was saying also, and then I expanded on the previous idea, made it sexier. Also, having a, bo a boss at a young age while learning the ropes would be able to that, 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 that. Bam. But then I, for the first time, put as a result of this in my fourth sentence. So again, in my second sentence, for example, I felt like I did not drive home the point. And my third example, well, not third example, the idea on top of that was the also. After that was the result of those two things that I mentioned. The for example and the also, I'm going to write the result. The therefore is just going to be a summary of the thesis and everything that was said in regards to the professor and what Claire had said and what I had spoken about. As a result of this, their employability goes up because employees would be willing to hire them. And then there's the therefore. By having teenagers do this, I'm reaffirming the entire idea and summarizing everything from what the professor said, from what Claire said, and a little bit of me and what I had said. This is how you do it. I talked to you about structure today. I gave you a big full rundown of the structure in terms of what you need for the academic writing. Okay, if you want the cause and effect, you know, a problem and solution and everything, those courses are available. Okay, so the academic writing is just 25 and you also get to integrate it for free. And that's a literal course, which teaches you about a lot of different things. So if you want that, again, reach out to me. Again, if you're watching this on YouTube, if you watch the full video on Facebook, thank you so much. Follow me on IG, Arsenio ESL podcast. Okay, for those of you listening to me on the ESL podcast, I had the dentist from Mexico for the first time. He's like, oh, I heard you in podcast. Then I went over to YouTube and you said you have more exclusive content on Instagram. So I followed you. Big shout out to you, big man, Caesar. Okay. And so right after that, I have one of my longtime followers, my Taiwanese, who I love so dearly. Her name's Sally. She's a dancer out there, obviously in Taiwan. She followed me on IG. So again, make sure you get on over to IG because this is where the live stuff is. This is where I put a lot of the exclusive content. So if you're listening to me on Spotify, IG, YouTube, I'm posting these videos. I'm making thumbnails because I'm learning so much more about marketing through like Brendan Bouchard, a lot of personal development stuff that I do. Pretty awesome stuff because I'm like, okay, so you'll take your time. Keep learning, keep learning. So with that being said, very excited about this. If you guys are interested in that course or the one-on-one -on -one coaching that I have, or if you have a group of friends who need some coaching and you want to take the test by this time or that time, again, I have a consultation calendar that is available. Reach out to me anytime. I am here to help you as much as I can. That is my goal, okay, to spur others on to success. And this year alone, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Bredo. Um, I had students get into Boston, Michigan, Penn, Northeastern, NYU, all of these universities with scores ranging from 87 to 103 this year, the most successful. That's my goal. I'm changing not only their lives, but their families' lives forever by helping them. That's what my goal is, right? Am I going to continue to do a TOEFL for the next 10 years? Highly doubt it. I'm probably going to be going into high-performance coaching and all that other great stuff. But for the time being, I am here, and I am here for your service. So with that being said, thank you for everyone tuning in. Breno, I... Apol I'm sorry, not apologize. I'm going to be speaking to you soon. I'm not exactly sure how you heard about me either, Bredo. So if you comment down below, that would be awesome. Uh, probably Spotify. I'm guessing on Spotify, right? Um, because I my market, to be honest with you, was always the dentist at the beginning of this year. But now I'm starting to get a lot of other folks. And so I'm like, oh, see, this is awesome. This is what I like, you know? So nonetheless, Brenna, I'm going to be speaking to you right after this. I just sent you a whole bunch of messages. We'll probably be talking to each other in just a few. Uh, and for everyone else out there, man, again, IG is where it's at. If you guys want this template, go to my IG. I'll say it again. If you're watching on Facebook, YouTube, wherever it is, or listening to...
You are famous in Brazil. You know what's so funny, by the way, Breno? I remember back in 2020, there were some people that had followed me from Turkey. And they're like, oh, man, we love you so much in Turkey. To be honest with you, Breno, and I'm, I'm going to sum this up for everyone out there. Brazil. Manager I. That's where my first listeners came from five years ago on my ESL podcast. At the time, I was single. I didn't know my now wife, which I love so dearly. Mwah! Okay, love this so much. Back five years ago, I remember I was at the Thai embassy in Laos, Vientiane, Lao, which is just north of Thailand. And there was a Brazilian. I heard that she was from Brazil, but she was like the most beautiful. And I was like, and I have an ESL podcast and people from Brazil listen to me. And I use that as a niche to get, start up a conversation with her. She was cool while we were there and everything. We talked about so many things and then that was the end. But nonetheless, man, appreciate it so much. Thank you so much. I'll be speaking to you soon, Breno, for all of you following me. If you guys want this template, uh, the presentation, if you want the full presentation, that's available. Uh, on YouTube, Facebook, obviously you already have it and stuff like that. If you're listening to me on podcast and you want to see it, obviously go to my YouTube, go to my Facebook. Again, I'm sharing these directly from my Canva in regards to you just viewing it rather than using Dropbox. I think Dropbox was literally just a waste of time. Okay, so nonetheless, man, I appreciate it so much. Thank you guys for a tune in. And that is the end for today. I appreciate, okay? Apreciacion, apreciado. I, I, I'm, I'm trying the Portuguese, Breno, sorry. Okay, and again, for all of you who listen to me out there in the world, make sure you follow me everywhere. I'll be seeing you guys soon. We're going to be doing reading. Oh, we're going to be doing some reading. That's right. And we got some big things in terms of my TOEFL IBT reading. Obrigado. There we go. Obrigado. There we go. Okay. See, I knew it. My, my Brazilians, they tried teaching me, but I always forget the Portuguese. Um, But nonetheless, I got some big videos coming up on my TOEFL IBT reading in terms of locations. That's going to be my IG live next week. I'm going to be creating the same type of thing. Now, again, if you're watching on YouTube, you're probably getting this every week. All right, so this is why y'all need to go over there and follow me on my Instagram. If you're watching me on Facebook, you're lucky. Okay, not every week. I just hurry up and upload on Facebook and get the hell off. <laughs> so with that being said, I am done. I'm signing off. I appreciate everybody. And I'll be seeing you guys next week. I'm your host as always, over and out.